Okay, everyone, I am excited today. So you might notice we are not in Azuna anymore. We logged out last time in Azuna, and I had this idea, and I was just, I couldn't get out of my head, so I had to do it. So I'm hoping this works out. Uh, you might notice things are looking rather gloomy, a little red, uh, kind of dusty out here. And the sun seems to be setting off in the distance, so uh, it's kind of nice. Now, you can probably tell where you are uh, because the mini-map is giving it away. But if you aren't familiar with the area, this is Black Rock Mountain. Uh, inside of the burning steps and this is home to probably my favorite i would say my favorite instance and let's see this should still work right it's been a while since i've done this uh let's see if i can do this right hey i can mount in here which is not something i used to be able to do oh i failed uh oh uh oh but a uh, First of all, the lava damage is a lot more damage than I expected. I guess it's uh, percent based and not uh, raw health based. I'm kind of getting freaked out having a mountain here. This is not something I used to be able to do. I'm also like really surprised I'm able to climb up this thing so efficiently. Uh, so you used to, uh, I'm trying to remember, it's been a while since I've been in here. I have a feeling I'm gonna die trying to do this now. This isn't quite what I was anticipating doing. Um, you see that little thing down there? This, this, my mouse cursor, that's where I need to go. Maybe I came in on the wrong side and I'm a little confused. All right, let's see if I can do this. I wanna try something that's gonna just totally kill me here. Oh yeah, I'm dead. Oh no, oh no, can you jump out of lava? Can you not take damage if you keep jumping? Uh. Can I get on this little island? Yeah, I can. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and pop a health potion. Or not a health potion, sorry. Uh, I what is this even called? Crimson Vial. It's been a while since I've used it. Or not since I've used it, but since I've looked at the name. Okay, so that's where we need to go. All right, let's do this. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. I believe in it. I believe in us. How much damage are we actually taking? About 9% per tick. So we can take about four more ticks. Five more ticks, I guess. Four. Oh, wow. Mounting is so weird in here. This used to be considered an indoor spot, which makes sense to me. Can I get this loop? Then in a demount? Wow, interesting. Okay. The dark times will pass. Here's the guy I was looking for. The eternal sun uh, attunement to the core. Uh, venture to the molten core, enter portal in black rock depths. Oh, no, the don't need that. Is at hand. Transport me to the molten core. Uh, Lothos is his name. So the molten core is the first raid instance that you would complete in... Uh, vanilla well and the molten core was originally actually dropped tier one and tier two gear that was eventually nerfed to just tier one how much health these things have Fifty-eight thousand health so i think we're going to like one shot these right let me just shoot this thing how much did health <laughs> oh yeah we're going to one shot these things okay there was like a moment of hesitation i was like are we going to actually one shot them or I want to show you guys some tricks of the trade, uh, if I remember things. It's been a long time since I've been multi core, but I'm just so... Oh, there's another one here. I'm just so excited. Uh, I know this is going to be really boring for most people, but... So here's the first thing you can do in the Molten Core. Well, actually... Oh, yeah, there's maps now. Man, it's crazy. Um, the shortcut. There is a shortcut here, which I don't know if you can still take it. Uh, can I mount in here? No, okay. I This is the right way to do this? Yeah, so you can jump along here. You can skip all this trash, all this trash right around here. Uh, this is something we didn't find out. I never knew about this until way, until like we were in Blackwing Lair at least. You can totally just cut through here. Don't need to worry about uh, fighting all those mobs back there. Not that they were going to be a problem for us. I'm just saying, uh, pro tip, if you ever, you know, Blizzard releases legacy servers someday and you want to skip along through here, that's the shortcut. You can cut all that trash out, which is probably about. In vanilla, that was for an ungeared raid group that was probably 15 or 20 minutes of clearing um for a good raid group that was maybe a couple minutes like a group that's pretty well geared anyway i'm enjoying shooting things down these guys these lava lava annihilators they used to what did they do they do a knockback or is it a stun i forget it's been so long let me get let me get meleeed by these guys a little bit we're building up our hydroxian waterlord reputation yeah i remember that all these packs were always a pain hold on let's see if i can get this guy to aggro me will he Man, I can't even get him to aggro me without, uh... How do I, can I gouge him? He's immune to gouge, perfect. 
Let's see, what are they gonna do to me? Apparently not, not much. Those guys, okay, that's it. Lava Surgers would swing and charge, like they would rush at one random person and then rush back to their, to whoever they were aggroing. Uh, these little imps used to be our little AOE packs. They were kind of annoying to deal with back in the day. Uh, kind of fun is to shoot now. I'm gonna get some dark iron ore. So dark iron deposits. I remember our guild like farming these, like actually being like, oh, we need dark iron ore to uh, craft some gear, some fires as gear for our tank, so we can tank Ragnaros, so he can tank Ragnaros, and uh, give us a chance of actually taking down Ragnaros. Like we needed that fire resist gear. Uh, deep rock salt. It was pretty much junk. There's a couple things you could do with it. Ooh. I don't know. Sixty-two requires that alone. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Look at the uh, look at the gear. Look at that thing does. Binds when equipped. It's a headpiece that gives you 27 armor. I I actually think that that's that's like actually worse. Uh, that's like actually worse than it was back in the day. I don't know why it's that bad now. I don't know what Blizzard has done to the itemization here, but it's a whole other level of trash tier now. Oh man, we're gonna have some fun times in here. Uh, Magmadar Cavern, right? So there's two bosses. Wait, is, wait, is, was Lucy always in here? Am I? I guess Lucy was. I feel like he was back. It's been. I'm, so my memory is not doing well for me. I know Magmadar was here. But I don't remember Lucy being here. Can I just shoot Lucy? <laughs> Amazing. These Corehound packs, if I remember right, you have to kill all of them at the same time. Yeah, they begin to smolder. So if you don't kill all of them at the same time... Oh, look at that loot. Ah, oh, it's so cool. So, I'm so hyped right now. So these packs are interesting. If I remember right, if you killed one hound early and didn't kill the other hounds quickly enough, the first hound would resurrect itself. So you had to basically AoE them or split DPS effectively. But look at the gear we just got. What did we get? We got a gold... Amazing. Essence of Fire. That stuff was so useful. I think you could use that for fiery weapon enchants. Um, what else would I use it for? There were a few enchants, I think, that used it. And maybe some crafted gear from, like, the Dark Iron gear. I was an alchemist and herbalist, so I didn't craft any of these useful things. I just made potions for the, uh, for the guild. Let's just ignore these guys. And then there's this rune here. This little... Hold on. What else did we get? We got the Gauntlets of Might. Look at these things. Gauntlets of Might and Earth Fury Boots. I don't know what versatility does. That's okay. Look at the numbers. It's like we're talking double digit strength, like 17 strength, guys. I think I have more strength on like my, does any of my gear have strength? I think it's all agility. <sighs> Crazy. All right, I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to open a fight against bosses with an ambush. Ah, beautiful. And what did we get? We got some Sabaton's a flame walker. That's not a set piece. It's kind of eh, I, it's not, eh. Yeah, I don't remember. It's male gear, so I never really. Wait, yeah, I never really would have used it. Lawbringer leg plates. Oh, paladin gear. Weird. So, at some point, the game was changed. You could not get paladin raid gear if you were horde. But maybe that's been changed since then. Uh. At some point, I think you could get opposite faction gear early in vanilla, I believe. And I think they nerfed that so that wouldn't happen because it kind of sucks getting paladin gear as a horde character or getting shaman gear as a alliance raid. So, kind of kind of dumb. So I think they nerfed that. We also got the Felhart pants. Look at these things. These are like good pants. I mean, these were things that warlocks would you know, kill to have at the time. They were great. What is, I don't know. If set bonus... Bonus inactive, it's a legacy set, so they nerfed it, so you can't even use the set bonus anymore. That makes sense, because mana cost of shadow spells being reduced by 15% would actually be, you know, like, relevant, I think, for warlocks nowadays. I don't know if people would take it over the actual gear you could have, but it's, like, relevant. Oh, hey, we got a good one. Sniped. Now, we're looking for any bind on equip epics that might drop from these uh, trash mobs along the way. I'm not going to spend a lot of time killing trash mobs. I love the new models, by the way. Yeah, Ge our buddy Gehenna's over here. So Gehenna's, how, how did we fight this guy? So Lucifron, we basically was like a tank and spank type of thing. Magmadar, I think was similar. I mean, honestly, Molten, I, I was a rogue. So all I ever did was just DPS, whatever I was told to DPS. Um, hold on a sec. Let's 
get this guy out of our way. Gehennis, I think we just tanked and killed the adds first and then killed Gehennis. I don't know if I'll probably pronounce it wrong. I was pronounce it Gehennis. So my old raiding guild, we did not use any sort of chat to uh, communicate with each other. Ah, oh, so much good loot. So we did not use um, chat to communicate with each other. We literally just chatted in game. Uh, that's how we did everything. And I want some rogue gear, by the way. I'm really disappointed we haven't gotten any good rogue gear yet. Uh, that's fine. Well, it'll come up. I'm sure it will. Let's take out a few of these. Core of Earth. Yeah, that was used for some... Uh, some things. What was it used for? Core of Earth. It was, it was some... Was it blacksmithing? Oh, jeez. So we just got some good stuff. Um, fiery Core and Lava Core. I remember doing pickup groups of pugs. And whoever organized the pug always got to keep all the fiery and lava cores. That was just the way it worked. Um, it was like their payment for operating the raid. Um, oh man, we're getting so many fire and lava cores. This is like, if I could take all this loot and go back in time, this is like a week's worth of raiding for my guild. I mean, it, it would be, sometimes we would take a couple nights to clear molten core. I mean, it, it originally took us like a full week's rotation, maybe three nights of several hours each night to be able to clear Molten Core. Um, and that was when actually at the point we could clear it. There was a period of time where we just could not clear it because we just weren't geared enough or good enough. Uh, this little flame thing that's spinning on the ground, that is, uh, what is it, a rune? I forgot there's another name for it. It's a rune. And you had to douse these runes. And you had to douse all, I think there were eight of them, and dousing them all before you could ever fight. Uh, I think. Could you fight Major Domo before? I don't think Major Domo could be fought until you douse the runes. You definitely had to do it before you could get to Ragnaros. I don't remember about Major Domo was the one that would summon, it would appear after you douse these. And there were eight or nine of them. And the only way to douse them was this freaking. I have to like zoom way out here. Um, if you go to Kalimdor, go to Eshara, and off the coast of Eshara in the southeast side down here, there's a little obscure island, or there was, I don't know if it's still there anymore. And that little obscure island, there was a water elemental called Duke Hydroxis, and that guy gave you a quest. You had to complete a few quests, and every time you had to trek back out, it was like a three to four minute swim, and your flight point it was way over here, usually on the west northwest side of Ashara. So it was like a 15 minute trip at least after you landed in Ashara. And this is before flying mount, so you had to run on foot. If you were lucky, you had a 100% ground mount. You probably only had a 60% because it was expensive. <laughs> That's one way to kill Gar. That felt good. Um, and after you completed his series of quests... Oh, yes. After you completed his series of quests... I'm excited, I'll tell you why in a sec. Then he would give you this rune. And you could take it and douse the... Uh, or this water. You could douse the runes with it. Well, the problem is... The rune was a consumable. So every week... You had to go back out there, get another consumable water, come back, and then go back in Molten Core that week and douse another rune. Uh, so if you had eight people in your guild that could do that, all eight of them would go get their temporary one-time use uh, rune dousing water, and then come back and they would uh, douse the rune for Molten Core that week, all eight of them. And eventually, if you got like exalted, I think, with Hydroxine Rep, you could um, get a permanent use water that I think had a cooldown that was fairly long. I don't remember exactly how long the cooldown was. I never got it, I never had Exalted Rep. Oh yeah, this guy's awesome, Baron Geddon. So Baron Geddon, we would usually fight this guy by clearing that last room and pulling him back there. It was a lot easier for my guild to do it back there. A lot of guilds would just fight him right here, which was probably faster, but that's the way we did it, was always going back there. Essence of Earth, I think they changed the uh, icon for Essence of Earth. I don't remember it looking quite like that. Uh, we're gonna get our Dark Iron Deposit here, of course. Can't miss that. So here's what we got. We got a Night Slayer cover and Aged Core Leather Gloves. Aged Core Leather Gloves were amazing rogue gloves at the time. I think they were better than the uh, Night, Slayer, um, Night Slayer Gloves. So we were generally... I think I had Aged Core Leather Gloves over the Night Slayer Gloves. The Night, the Night Slayer cover, though, look at that thing. That is... How do we... Can I zoom in here? That is the classic... Like, that's what I think of when I think of rogue raid gear, is that, like, it looks different. It looks a little bit different to me now. I think it's a little bit different looking, but it's so cool. And then, of course, the Age Core Leather Gloves, which, let's zoom out a little. Look at those things. 
Oh man. So this gets added to my appearance collection. I'm excited. I want to collect like the entire tier one set now. Um, I wish there was a way to like fight these guys that actually show the combat a little bit better. Baron Gen would do this really cool thing where he would cast a debuff on someone called a living bomb. And living bomb, that was a way uh, a raid wiper. A raid wiper. That God, I don't know how many freaking times some new person in our group in our guild would wipe the raid because that stupid debuff. Because what it did is it debuffed you, and then after like 10 seconds, you would explode. You would shoot up really high in the air. Like, I mean, you would hit like a ceiling practically. You would land and take fall damage. It hurt. You'd probably, a lot of times you would die if you weren't, if you're like a cloth and uh, cloth wearer and no one uh, geared you up. Sorry, I got like an itch on my face. If no one not geared you up, no one buffed you, like a powered shield or something. But it also did an AoE damage around your character of the same amount of damage. So, God, if someone got that debuff and then AFK'd or like disconnected, your only hope was that the rest of the raid moved. The entire raid had a move. That's not exactly easy. Let's see if we can trigger a mechanic on Shaz Shazra. How do I call him Shazra? Yeah, so this guy shoots out uh, arcane explosions. And then what's this debuff? Magical damage taken increased by 100%. Okay. And then he teleports sometimes. I don't see him teleporting. Why is he taking damage? Anyway. Did I hit him somehow? Here, Stiligosa's breath, you're hit. Huh, interesting. I almost killed him with Stiligosa's breath. Neat. So eventually, what happens this fight... Uh, there he goes, he teleports. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you. So he blinks, and normally what happens is you tank him, like, here. And then you make a circle around him. Or a semi-circle, usually just a full circle. Everyone shoots him out of range, except for the tank. Because this AoE is just deadly, it does too much damage. So as a rogue, this is a fight where I would just sit at a distance and just shoot him. I would just shoot him a bunch. I, it was like the most worthless fight for rogues. What else have we been getting? Scenarian gloves. Uh, boots of prophecy. Is that priest gear? Yeah, priest gear. Lawbringer spalder is more... Look at those cool things. Oh, those are pretty neat. I remember seeing those a lot. Um, I didn't play Alliance, really, but those are awesome. And more Felhart stuff. We're going to run out of bag space this rate. Let's uh, sprint ahead kill this little ancient corehound. Now these guys you would skin because they dropped corehound leather, which was important for certain uh, crafted leather gear. Mainly, I think it was fire resist leather gear is like the main thing you would make out of it. Oh man, we're getting so much good stuff. What's our reputation at? Hydroxine water lords. We're still only neutral. It takes so long to get. Uh... <laughs> I'm enjoying, this is like, oh, this is like revenge. Also, here is another one of these uh, runes that you had to douse. Down here, Golmag the Incinerator, one of the coolest looking guys back in the day. I mean, he's just a Molten Giant, but he's a big, like a bigger Molten Giant, which I always thought was awesome. Uh, I always liked Golmag. Uh, what do we have? Sulfuron, yes. I don't remember this Sulfuron fight to... Let's see, how do we do Sulfuron? Get in my Lava Core, folks. I'm ready to uh, craft up some Fire Resist gear. make we got to clear so this is the thing you had to clear everything you couldn't like but i'm you have to clear every single mob in this whole area you have to clear this space off too um because if you didn't you would wipe you there's no way you can't sneak past those guys first of all even if you could have oh nice we got one of the bind on equip uh belts so that's one of the bind on equip you get belts and bracers if i remember right and old old school enchant what is this nine stamina increase nice i don't what why, why would they limit can't be applied to items higher than level 600. Like, who who would care if you put 9 stamina on that? Like, why, why not let people? So here's how we would do this fight. Let me finish clearing these guys off. All right, all dead. Got to make sure I loot my uh, Dark Iron Deposit. I can't, I can't just leave those if they're right there. I left a bunch of them, I know, but it's too important. Okay, so Sulfuron, so if I remember right, there's priests, are they all priests? Yeah. So if they were too close to each other, they would heal each other. And you had to kill the priest first. This is what we always did. So what we'd normally do is block, is use line of sight to eliminate this problem. And normally right here, we would back one of the priests in this corner so that it was standing like here, let's see, like on this spot, and then fight everything else around the corner so that you couldn't get line of sight between that priest and these other mobs. And then uh, we'd kill that priest and then we'd bring the next priest over 
and would have the main tank tanking Sophia on the whole time, and then would have off tanks tanking the four priests. I think the priests could be sheeped. Is that right? I don't. Maybe they couldn't. I don't think they could. That seems too easy. The good news is, not going to heal if they're dead. Oh man, let's uh, how do we want to kill this guy? Ah, shoot him. That's good enough. What goodies did we get? The rune has been doused. Salamander scale pants. What are those? Oh, like druid pants. Okay, I was like, why don't I remember those? I, I, I have like a bad memory for things that aren't. Um, look at those tier one hunter shoulders. Amazing. I have a bad memory for things that aren't rogue gear because I never used it. So it's kind of like, eh. You know, I just don't think of it. Now, I think we have to go along here, snipe this guy down. Whew, man. I know it's, this is, this seems so easy. I know it's, I know it's obviously super easy right now, but this was hours. Like, we would have spent hours just to get to this point. Now, to be fair, a good guild can clear Molten Core in vanilla in 45 minutes, an hour, probably easily within two hours. You could, like, without a bunch of crazy... Uh, buffs so you could probably go in and clear it in two hours, especially if you have a decent amount of molten core gear. Uh, if you have like Blackwing Lair level gear, tier two gear, definitely could do it. Now, as I recall, I think you have to kill Golmag before you can kill the Core Ragers. Let me try and snipe one of these down. I think if you get them below 50% health, they just heal. But maybe that's not the case anymore. Um, I thought that they would not, you couldn't kill them until you killed the Golmag himself. But, uh, I guess that's, I could be misremembering, or it could just not be true. Ooh, so if you're on Ingot, um, what do we use those for? I think for crafting a few things, like the hammer, is the hammer of Sulfurus? The hand of Sulfurus? I'm forgetting the name. That's embarrassing. Um, it was used for crafting a few things. I don't think it was too important otherwise. Um, and I never used it. What did we get? Magma tempered boots. Those were non set piece gear. Uh, druid chest piece. Look at that. I like it. I like it a lot. And. Huh. You can never use that item. That's a new warning. I thought. Has that always. I've never. Hmm. I guess I'm misremembering. I thought you could equip other classes' gear, as long as it was, like, you know, cloth or leather for a rogue. But, apparently, I am wrong with that. I've never tried. I would have never, like, there was never an instance where I would have been given a priest set gear, right? There's no way uh, my guild needed that stuff, or they would take it and disenchant it and use the shards for, you know, enchants or whatever. Um, now, moving our way up here. Yeah, this is right. Okay. Major Domo himself is here. Now, you can't kill Major Domo. Uh, what happens if I try and shoot him? Now, this fight was... I know you could sheep these guys. You would need several tanks. The tanks, some of them, sheep some of them. I think hunters could freezing trap them, so you could do that. Um, the way I usually would do it is we would kill off the healers first, if I remember right, then the elites, and then once you kill all eight, that's the end of the fight. You don't actually kill Major Domo. Can I even... Does this thing deal damage to me? Yeah, so this this little thing did some damage. So you can't kill Major Domo. So like I shot him there, and he goes down to one health, but he survives. But he's. <laughs> I'm gonna take care of this rather quickly. Major Domo has been slain. Yes, in core, of course. Now it doesn't seem like we got any good gear there. Rashly, you have come to wrest the secrets of the living flame. You will soon regret the recklessness of your quest. I go now to summon the lord whose house this is. Should you seek an audience with him, your paltry lives will surely be forfeit. Nevertheless, seek out his lair if you dare. Uh, I, had to, I had to stop and like... I, I don't know if I remember that voice acting. I know Ragnaros has some voice lines. I don't know if I remember Major Domo's that clearly. Or if they've been changed, maybe? Anyway, so the Cache of the Fire Lord is where the actual loot is. Uh, ooh, Fireproof Cloak, nice. And a Cauterizing Band, uh, I never use that. Fireproof Cloak, I think that just looks kind of neat, right? 
I mean, that doesn't seem like it's cool, but that's actually cool. It's like a giant red cloak. You don't get a, you didn't get a lot of good gear in vanilla. Okay, so we took what we could. I don't, I don't. We didn't have transmog in my day, so if it was a red full length cloak, you were happy with it. I mean, I was always thankful to have a full length cloak as opposed to like even like what we have right now. I'm gonna fall in the lava. If I'm not careful. It was like a little like three quarter length cloak or maybe half length. I think a three quarter length is what I would call it. That's fine, but um, I will say that. I generally prefer the full length cloaks. They look better. Now of course, Big Daddy himself, Ragnaros, which do we have? Oh man. What if we get What if we get the Eye of Sulfurus? What if we get it guys? I was hoping to get like the bindings of the Wind Seeker, but we did not get those. Now, there are Let's see. There was... What is it called? I'm forgetting now. There was a legendary necklace that dropped in Molten Core about four months after WoW first launched. This is like maybe... What would it have been? Early 2005? Um, a guild named Nerfed was in Molten Core. They killed... I, I think it was Baron Geddon. Don't quote me on that. I think it was Baron Geddon. Is that right? And Baron Geddon, or whoever, dropped a necklace. And uh, this necklace was a legendary necklace that had like stamina, had strength, it had uh, fire resist, nature resist, it had an effect that allowed you to, uh, anytime you were damaged, you would deal four damage to your attacker. And it had an effect that was like kind of like a lightning orb, sort of like um, a shaman's lightning shield. Is this what I'd kinda, it kind of looked like? Oh yeah. And you can also... So instead of, you could loop all the way around the spiral to get to the center here. Side note, this spiral, not, I mean, there used to never be a map, but to me when I looked down on it, it always reminded me of a little hearthstone spiral. So, I don't know if that was coincidental or not, but I always thought it was interesting. You should, wait, can you still get up this side or not? I want to die in Molten Core and feel really dumb. You used to be able, yeah, there we go. I was going to say, you used to make a shortcut through here, and, we would, and I would always do that. It always seemed better to me. Uh, I always preferred that to um, running all the way around the spiral. Although now, I don't remember there being a lava surger back there, so maybe now you'd want to run through there and clear out those things. Um, anyway, it, this would be a blast to like get some level 60 characters together and try and run this. Anyway, let's talk to... Uh, oh, what's it saying? So, the legendary necklace, it dropped once, just one time, I think from Baron Ganon. Great necklace for a tank, so the tank got it in the guild. And then Blizzard hot fixed it, so that, that never dropped again. Never again. It was not supposed to be in the loot table. It somehow snuck in there. Um, I have no idea what the long-term vision for it was, but it was eventually it was removed pretty quickly afterwards. So that was uh, the legend of the... God, I don't remember the name of the necklace. I will, I will add it to the video description. Tell me more. 300 years ago, Reckless Dwarf named Thorson, uh, Emperor Thorson, right? Uh, summoned the master from his fiery realm. He, his return to this paltry world devastated the surrounding lands and created this volcanic core. Mighty Ragnos has slept under this mountain ever since. This would be where like voice acting would take over now, I think. Uh, something that they would have added probably if this was like a legion raid. Uh, cut off from the energies of his fiery realm, Ragnaros is but a shadow of his true self. However, he has more than enough strength to be your end. So this isn't even like the true Ragnaros, right? This is the shadow of Ragnaros in this current realm. All right, very well. Let's uh, give him some space, ladies and gentlemen. Summon Ragnaros. He's actually casting a spell. Nifty. I never knew he cast a spell to do this. Behold, Ragnaros, the Fire Lord. He who was ancient when this world was young. Bow before him. Look at that guy. Bow before your enemy. You gotta see this. What is the meaning of this intrusion? These mortal infidels, my lord. They have invaded your sanctum and seek to steal your secrets. Fool. You allowed this incest to run rampant through the hallowed core. 
how you lead them to my very lair? You have failed me, Executus. Justice shall be met indeed. Ooh. He just, like... He used the force to, like, choke him to death. Make his heart explode or something. So how hard does this guy hit me? So look at that debuff. Elemental fire, 8600 damage over 8 seconds. That's like a lot of damage. I mean, that was like you had to be getting healed rapidly or you would die. Now if we step out of melee range, he should start like blasting us. Yeah, he just starts like nuking people. And that magma blast, I mean, I'm taking like 200 damage. I'm pretty sure Magma Blast was like a one-shot practically for like most people, so you had to stay- Oh, <laughs> it's been a while since I've been knocked back. Uh, so he'll occasionally knock back people in melee range, which is kind of fun, and after a few minutes, he summons like a- is it a minute and a half or is it three minutes? He summons Sons of Flame, so you gotta get in melee range for him. See, why isn't he meleeing us? I don't know. I'm expecting him to whack us, but he doesn't seem to want to do that. Anyway, we're just gonna shoot him, get our achievement, look at that. The Molten Core, we have killed Ragnos. Uh, achievement earned by Super Dead. Defeat Ragnos. That's awesome. <sighs> Look at all that. Hold on. Okay, so we just got three gold, which it seems a little bit low compared to what I think we would have actually gotten for killing Ragnos. Like, I mean, individually, like per person, I think we would have gotten a little bit more than that. Maybe three gold sounds it right. So, Nemesis Leggings. Uh, these are all tier two gear. So we got tier two pants for Warlocks. Uh, blood fang pants, nice. So these were the tier two rogue pants, which don't really look that good on undead. I feel like undead don't really look great in a lot of the gears. They're so small. But that's really cool. We got uh, band of sulfurus, which is a you know a, I I don't I can't s tell you what vers versatility is, so I don't know. It was, that's a pretty good ring. Uh, Dreamwalker armor, which just like a bind on equip blue that generally drops, and the scarlet chris. This was actually a really good offhand dagger for buying an equipped blue. So, is it offhand? I mean, that looks like a good main hand dagger, but I thought it was an offhand dagger. My memory's failing, but that was like a legitimately good dagger for rogues that weren't in raids yet. Uh, so go to the auction house, you can buy one of those, and it's actually, it's like pretty legit. Um, and then we also got Malice Star's Defender, which I don't remember that very well. Played a rogue, didn't use shield, so... Anyway, that is the Molten Core. I'm psyched to have uh, cleared through that. I'm tempted to go to Blackwing Lair now. Uh, tempted to do that, because it's been... I, I know Molten Core a lot better than Blackwing Lair. I ran Molten Core a lot more, because I ran it for months, but then Blackwing Lair launched. Um, but then we always were going through Molten Core to gear people up, it felt like. Whereas, I guess we always ran Blackwing Lair too, pretty much. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to zone out of Molten Core and see if I can get in a Blackwing Lair, and we will continue from there, I think. We'll see if we can get in. Okay, I think this is going to work. And first of all, let me just say, I realized that I could have just flown to the Lothos guy that lets us in Molten Core rather than try to swim through the lava, so I feel dumb thinking about that now. I just flew over here to the Blackwing Lair entrance. Uh, I also went and organized, sold off some of that junk from my bags that I collected in Molten Core. Which, by the way, uh, this Flamestar post, that didn't exist, so that's a new thing. But most, but there's no vendor there, it seemed like, so I had to go to Chisel Grip, which also didn't exist. So, I had to go there to uh, dump up my stuff. I don't know how the Sentry died, because there was definitely, that was alive just a moment ago. Nice, it works. Okay, I didn't try it yet, so I was like, I was... Crossing my fingers. Okay, welcome to Blackwing Lair, contested territory. How do we do this event solo? Okay, it's it, so I. It's been a very long time since so I've done Blackwing Lair, and I certainly don't remember all the details. I do know we need to start by killing these guys. Then we use this to control the egg breaking. Nothing to attack. What does it really destroy egg? Got it. Got it. Egg destroyed. Do they... What else do you got here? Fire damage from enemies. Weird that... So this fight, the way it's supposed to work, is one person controls Razor Gore. He has one job. That's to control Razor Gore. 
everyone else fights mobs that will be continuously summoned from these corners. So all four corners, usually you split into a team of four people to take on this fight. Or not four, you split into four teams to take on this fight. Ah, here we go. Uh, this is the stuff that mattered. Oh, Razor Gore, is he gonna die? I don't know. It's been a very long time since I've used these abilities. So I'm, uh, just gonna destroy some eggs. Razor Gore should be okay. Actually, it's gonna be tough. How do I complete this by myself? I think I know how to do this. I need to, like, get everyone to uh, pile on my guy here. If I can. And once ch channeling ends, it should be okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So th the plan is to get everyone to attack my rogue rather than... Oh, crap. I killed Razor Gore. I'm surprised they killed me. <laughs> okay, how do we... Oh. That was nice. Releasing just... Brought me right back. Huh. Oh, that's going to be tricky. So, how do we do Razor Gore? I'm going to zone out and see if I can reset... If it, like respawns him properly so to kill razor gore i would need to oh dear god there's some world pvp going on here uh can i stun this guy got the stun i'm out i'm out i'm out <laughs> Let me in, let me in, let me in. <laughs> I don't want to be involved in that. Okay, the eggs are set. So... Okay, we can do this. So what needs to happen is I need to... So the problem is, there's a lot of things that make this difficult. So there's a cooldown, I think, on channeling to summon Razor Gore. To, to control Razor Gore. But... I think the easiest way to do this is going to be to destroy all these eggs as best I can, and then as Razor Gore starts getting attacked, because if Razor Gore dies before I destroy the eggs, we die, as you just witnessed. Uh, that was always a trick. You had to keep Razor Gore alive, and the way to do everything always aggroed straight to him. So the way to keep Razor Gore alive was to pull the uh, things as they spawned. And that's why you split into four teams, to make sure you would pull them before anything bad happened to uh, Razor Gore. In our case, we're lucky because our rogue is actually able to tank everything. So what we'll need to do is not use any AoE and just kill everything. Let's see. Basically, yes, this is exactly what we, like if one or two mobs attacks us, that's fine. Otherwise, we want stuff to mostly hopefully go to Supa. So that and we're trying to clear the eggs like sequentially in that direction, so we're not running as far around. Razor Gore can tank a few of these things, no problem, but he's not going to be able to tank all of them. Let's see, I'll put that dragon to sleep. That, that worked pretty well. And... Can I put another one to sleep? Oh nice, I can put multiple to sleep. Okay, that's, that's new. I don't remember that being a thing. And it's like instant cast, which is great. Okay, so now we are going to just one-shot all these things, and then... Can I re-click this now? Oh, I can. Perfect. Okay. I didn't think I could. I, uh... I'm pretty confident that wasn't the case back in vanilla. Like, I feel like there was a pretty long delay between being able to re-summon, so you'd have, uh, being able to channel, so you'd have to have someone else channel. Uh, but now we got this, should be fine. And of course, we're up there, like, full health, because we're, like, the world's best tank. Um. It's incredible. I mean, like, my rogue's, like, just not even taking any damage. I also think they might have buffed Razor Gore, because generally Razor Gore took more damage than this, I think. Um. Like, I don't remember him tanking this well. I feel like he should be more dead by now. How many eggs are left? couple eggs. 
Probably put that dragon to sleep. One egg left, two eggs left. Come on, we can do this, we can do this. I gotta get away from all that mess. I think it's the last egg, right? Okay, now everyone runs away. And now we have to fight Razor Gore. And normally we would tank Razor Gore. Did be a way we would do this. <laughs> Razor Gore is, of course, wrecking all these guys. So normally we would tank Razor Gore, like, right here. Uh, we'd fight him, like, blah, blah, blah. Tank would be here. The, he occasionally does like an AoE, so like all the casters would jump on this pillar, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, run back here and hide. In this case, uh, we're not doing any of that. We're just gonna nuke that guy. What is that? Uh, did you know how to summon an untamed hatchling? That's new. I'm good with that. That's awesome. It's a baby hatchling. Or a baby, look up that. Oh, that's awesome. I'm excited for that. What else did we get? Uh, the, uh, the arcane infused gem, the worst hunter trinket I've ever heard of, infuses your arcane energy, infuses you with arcane energy, causing your next arcane shot fired to detonate. It basically causes your arcane uh, shot to be like an AOE. Binding a transcendence is priest. This is all to your two now, and paladin, paladin, right? Okay. Well, we're now moving on to Veil... I call them Veil Straws? Veil Straws? I always gotta kill these stupid little guys. GG. That Hourglass Sand is useful stuff. And if you're fast enough, you can kill all of them. I know, I know, there's some chat going on back there, but I wanted to kill these guys. It's like you always wanted to kill them, because you want to get that hourglass sand. It was used for something that I don't recall what it was, uh, but I don't remember anymore. Now, Vale, you may notice, is at 30% health. This is a very interesting fight. Let's speak to Vale. He gives us a really sweet buff, I think. Well, what do we just get? Taste of blood. Fate and fortune have fed on the blood of humanoid creatures. Okay, right. Vale, no. Where's our sweet buff? I cannot control myself. Should get a sweet buff here, right? I beg you, mortals, flee! Flee before I lose all sense of control. The black fire is within my heart. He always seems so nice out of his control. There's always like a strangely long pause here. I don't remember being quite this long. Lame! Death! Okay. There we go, look at that. 500 mana per second, restores 50 energy per second, 50 focus per second. That was actually really good back then. That was like, I mean, I guess 50 energy per second is still really good now that I think about it. We just got double loot, like double judgment loot, that's kind of lame. Uh, so what do we pick up? Mind Quickening Gem. I think it's really good, right? I don't remember what Haste is. I, I don't know what Haste is. Um, but I think that was actually a really good trinket back in the day. Especially, maybe for PvP especially. And then Judgment Belt, much... Oh, Paladin Gear. Paladin Gear everywhere. Why does Paladin Gear drop? No, I'm going to say this. Going forward, this is where I don't remember things very well. It's been so long since I've been in here. Yeah, some trash mobs um, that I like legitimately. I'm not sure I remember strategies for these fights very well, so I'm preempting any uh, any uh, tomfoolery with just saying that I'm just not sure exactly what I'm doing anymore because it's been a while, and I did not review this before coming in here. Oh, the suppressing room, right? Uh, I remember this room. I think these things. Oh, it's just blade flurry. Now, if I remember right. Right. Yeah, these things will slow you. Yeah, they're really, really bad for you. So you want to... That's right, that's right. Um, I remember this. I remember this is a rogue now. We have to disarm this trap. Actually, literally have to use this arm trap, I think, right? Wait, how do I... Hold on a sec. Disarm trap is what it says. Do I have disarm trap as a skill? 
I mean, I feel like pick lock should like work on that, but I know it's not correct. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go for this stealth. Invalid target is all it's saying. I don't remember, how do I not know how to open this up, general? I mean, it doesn't really matter. I can just literally sneak through this room, which is kind of a nice change. Uh, I remember I was having to like help my uh, guild out because rogues might be able to stealth a little bit. Although, to be honest, I'd be detected through here pretty easily. Uh, but I don't know how to disarm traps. That's, that's a problem. Oh. Cloak of Shadow seems really useful here. Uh, none of these things really worry me though, so do I need to I'm trying to, do I need to kill anything? No. This is just it just leads to Broodlord Lash Slayer. That's all. Huh. Yeah, I, I honestly I feel like I remember as a rogue stealthing and disabling these things, but I don't seem to be able to do that right now, so I don't know why. And then Broodlord Lash Slayer is a boss, third boss. I don't remember anything about him. Doesn't really matter? Because we killed him in one shot. But I think he was not so much the difficulty as much as dealing with the traps was the difficulty of Broodlord Lash Slayer. Uh, Boots of Transcendence. No rogue gear yet. What a bummer. I'm still bringing suppressed. Let's get out of here. Oh yeah. Here we go. Some goblins. I remember these guys. Uh, we can pretty much ignore them. Fire Maw, yep. So I think Fire Maw would fight usually in this little area here and would use some line of sight shenanigans to make it a little bit easier for us. Oh, uh, well that was easy enough. I am, I, like I want to see the good loot. Scrolls of Binding Light, what does this do? I don't remember, you know why I don't remember this? Because it's a Paladin Trinket. Huh. I'm waiting for some like Show some some gear that I'll really recognize. A lot of this stuff, it's not rogue gear, and it's not... I'm gonna shoot this guy down. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think I remember these guys like doing some sort of little chat if you aggro them, which wasn't that interesting. And of course we get more hourglass sand, and I think there's some chance for like a recipe or a box or something over here. Um, like I thought this thing here, Some there's something you... Oh, I know what I'm thinking of. Hold on a sec. This, you could make, um... Uh, elixirs. Not elixirs. Why do I always forget this? The potions that last for two hours, you could do that here. Um, I think it was that, those tables right there. We need to kind of like, um... The Black Anvil in Black Rock Depths to make certain, uh... Blacksmithing items. I think that's what I'm thinking of. Maybe it's over here, but there's somewhere one of these little alchemy tables that you needed for that. Uh, yes, yeah, so Eb Ebon Rock, Fire Maw's already dead. Ruler Lash Layer's already dead, right. I think there's a, man, I'm so forgetful. I think there's a third Drake. I think there's three Drakes in a row we have to fight here. <laughs> these guys are so cool looking though. I'm, just, wow, I just aggroed like this entire room, didn't I? Let's go ahead and kill these all off. I, like I said, Blackwing Lair is not my forte as much as Molten Core, but man. Oh, cool. Goblin's Guide to Elementium. What is it? Yeah. Elementium Bars. I uh, wasn't a blacksmith, so it didn't matter. And the ingots, right? I think you needed the ingots for that. Yeah, Elementium ingots, arc 10 Arcanite Bars. Yep, this is all... This is like coming back to me. Like As I'm playing through Blackwing Lair, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember this. I remember this. I just, this instance never felt quite as iconic as Evan Rock, and he is gone. Uh, never quite as iconic to me as Molten Core. Uh, Rogue Trinket, I would argue. Was this ever used by hunters? It probably was, because everything was hunter gear back in the day. Probably still true. It's like my favorite meme in WoW is that everything is hunter gear. And then finally, Flame Gorge. I think we would just fight here. Um, I think all those drakes are like a frontal cone fire breath, but I don't remember much past that. There we go. Uh, Circle of Applied Force, Rogue Ring, and uh, I would call it a Rogue Ring, and then Bloodfang Gloves, so look at that, these are also very cool, they go along with our, what else, our, where are our leggings, Bloodfang Pants, so there we go, we have two of eight so far for our Rogue set, which is 
Uh, pretty good, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I would love to get 8 of 8 someday and run around with that actual 8 of 8. Uh, yes, yeah, so Chromagus is coming up. Yep, there he is. And we're going to unleash the beast that is Chromagus. Fun boss. Let's set him out. He basically looks like a core hound, but he's purple. <laughs> and a little bit different spikes. And I snipe him down, no problem. He dropped a little bit more gear than I remember. Uh, another one, Mantle, okay. Elementium Threaded Cloak. I think that was a tank cloak. I don't remember ever having this myself. Whistle of Chromatic Bone. Teaches you how to summon Chrominius? Sure, what is this? I'm learning all sorts of cool things about pets today. Oh my gosh, a baby Chromagus. I appreciate the things that Blizzard has done to this game to uh, modify, to make old instances fun. I don't know if this was ever an instance people ran, like if that item was added when it was still relevant or if they added it after just for fun, but it's really cool. A Nefarian himself is here, and uh, where is Nefarian at? It has been a while for real. Like, I honestly don't remember how to summon Nefarian. I think we just, oh, there he is. It's like, I thought we had to walk out here. We do end up, I end up fighting him, I think, over here is what we often fight him to some degree. Can I just sit on the throne while he's sitting there? Does that work that way? Nope, he's on the throne. Lord Victor Nefarious. Uh, I don't expect you to cower. <laughs> do you expect me to cower before the mighty legion of Super Dead? That's awesome. The, the legion. The legion. He doesn't realize the legion was coming, but he was quite quite a few years off. And I don't, I don't remember this dialogue at all. It's been so long. In your rush to glory, you assumed that the pace of the game revolved around your actions. Can you even fathom how preposterous that sounds to a being like me? Yeah, you have lost your mind. You speak in riddles. It's simple, really. Allow me to summarize. Please do. There's no voice acting here. I don't... Okay. And I think he... Yeah, I was going to say disappears. Now... Yeah, so we have to deal with his ads for a while, and then uh, I think it's a certain amount of time. I don't think it's having to kill them all. Maybe it is having to kill them all. But eventually, he should become an actual killable, targetable entity, rather than just this guy that's uh, sniping us while we can do nothing about it. <laughs> but I, I don't know if I'm misremembering how to deal with this. Also, there's a lot more ads than I remember having back then. Huh. There we go. Uh, okay, I was gonna say, please don't tell me it's like some, uh, does more damage than I remember it doing. It shouldn't really do much. Now, can I gouge him? No. Is he doing any... He's still doing only 44 damage, and I understand. I'm not expecting him to do a lot. What if I just melee him once? He actually took a few melee hits to kill. Uh, <laughs> the bone golems are attacking. I'll take care of those. <laughs> oh, that felt good. I remember Nefarian. Nefarian was never quite... The Lord of Blackrock quest. I do remember this quest. Return the head of Nefarian to High Overlord Sarafang and Orgrimmar. We're going to do that in just a moment. First of all, we need to look at all the gear we got. Breastplate of Wrath. The Tier 2 Warrior chest piece. Uh, yeah, that's right. Warriors had all purple Tier 2. They had like a crazy spiked helmet thing too. We'll get that from a Nixio. We drop the Tier 2 hats. Another wind robe, which is the Mage. Yeah, I remember that. The Bloodfang hood. We got our hat. That is awesome. I'm so psyched for that. Uh, what else? What is this ring? Archimitros Ring of Reckoning. I don't recognize that ring for some reason, which I probably should. Maybe I never, I never, never got it. Uh, I, I, there's a lot of rogues in my guild, so we split up the gear quite severely. Serenity Belt, Magiskull Cuffs, the Head of Nefarian itself, that's the, that's the key there. The red Sack of Gems, let's take out the loot. What did we just get? Uh, it opened so fast. I'm not used to auto-looting still. Star Ruby, Jade, Citrine, a large opal. So basically a bunch of junk. Uh, Therizane's ring. Okay. 
Death Striker, Junk, Hyperion Greaves, Junk. Well, wow. so there we go. Uh, that is uh, just for fun. Someone's asking if I'm doing all the old raids, and I'm not doing all of them necessarily. Now we're going to go to the Valley of Strength, which is Orgrimmar. I, I never just set that Hearthstone, it's just been there since I started this character, so I've uh, never had a use for it. But now we have a use for it, because we have to go turn in Nefarian's Head, which we're going to get this incredible buff that probably is meaningless now, but used to be incredible. Uh, so let's find the turn in for it. Am I in the center? Yeah, here, wait, is that? I guess we turn in here now? Used to be a guy standing outside. Sarfang, yeah, Sarfang, same guy. All right, check this out. Uh, the Lord of Blackrock, complete the quest. I have backspace. Calm down. You will be able to choose one of these rewards. Do we want the Master Dragon Slayer's Medallion, which is a pretty solid ring, or necklace, sorry, or a pretty good ring? I think we want, I don't know, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, Hold on a sec. Speak with... Okay, that's right. I was going to say, I thought we had a... I don't remember there being two people like that. It's been seriously been like eight years since I've done this quest, at least. Because I was going to say, you have to turn it outside, right? Oh, man, someone's already got... Uh, is that a Nixia's head? Looks like a Nixia's head. It's a little bit different here, because the way things are arranged. Here we go. We're going to see my name in lights in a second. Let's take the ring. I think that's what I usually would have taken. Spirits be with the other. Wait, that's it? Dang. Uh, maybe that is Nefarian's head there. Oh, bummer. So, the point being, there used to be two statues here. One of Nefarian, one of Anixia. Maybe that is a Nefarian's head. I thought... It, I can't tell that it is. It looks like it is, kind of. Anyway, we turned it in. Got a bunch of experience or reputation. Nice. So... Sorry, I was probably just like rambling this whole episode, but hold on a sec. What does this Torin have? That guy looks really awesome. War Swords of the Valet. I'm assuming that's what it is, right? Cloud Song Glaives is what it's transmog to. That thing looks freaking sweet. And hold on, one more thing. I want to inspect him. Does it show his item level somewhere? This guy seems very highly geared, right? Like, that's like a very highly geared player. Um, anyway, so that's a Blackwing Lair. I, I don't have as many things to say about Blackwing Lair. It's a smaller instance, less trash, and it's a lot faster to run through, as you probably noticed, uh, especially at this level. But we did get to turn in that head there, and that was, it used to do this thing, and maybe just because Nefarian's head's already up, I don't know. It should have still done it, where it would announce it in like a yell to the whole city of Orgrimmar, be like, citizens of Orgrimmar, uh, pay heed to the great warrior super dead who has slain the beast nefarian and then everyone would get this like lightning bolt that would hit them everyone was outside and you get a buff that was like a two hour really good buff like legitimately you would get it's a boomkin you would literally get um I, I don't actually remember the nefarian buff or the anixia buff it was like increased critical chance increased maybe increased health but i think it was like increased crit chance um, some increased stats, maybe increased resistances. So it was, it was a good buff, and you would often use that buff when you're trying to clear new raid content. So it was a really important buff for a lot of reasons. So I'm a little sad they didn't get a yell my name out. I always like that. Anyway, uh, that's all for today. So next episode, we'll be back on our regularly scheduled program. We're going to go back to Azuna. We're going to work on our quest. There we have a lot. I will clean up my bags before then. Um... I don't know if there's anything too interesting you picked up that I didn't pay attention to. I'll look through them a little more carefully. Uh, but that's all for today. So thank you guys for going back on this uh, trip down memory lane to Molten Core and Blackwing Lair. I would like to check out Anchorage at some point and then maybe go through some of the Burning Crusade and other raids that I, I did a little bit of Burning Crusade, but that's about as far as I got. So I want to go through some of those other ones sometimes, see what kind of stuff pops up there. I think it'd be fun. We'd get some achievements. So that's also a, free, a little bonus. Um, but anyway, that's all for today. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.